And now it's time for Mob Talk Radio. I'm your host, Jeff Canarsi. And this is Mob Talk Radio Breaking News. Yo, Lord willing, Jeff Canarsi. Mob Talk Radio. Check it out. Yo, we stay quiet like Russell Buffalino. When things will get ugly like Pessy's death in Casino. Who do we know? No one, nobody. But we're all well respected like Della Croce and Gotti. I know wild nights, Havana not turn. Light up a cigar and watch the spot burn. You'll get patty whacked, I'm tough like Irish dock workers. Rubber guys, rubber guys, hooligans and black lurkers. Corner berserkers, street savvy soldiers. You owe, you better pay. Don't make me say I told you. Cold you don't betray, I say what I mean. Providence and Brooklyn all the way to the bean. I'd rather be unseen like Benny the Chin. I don't gotta go to Vegas to see cities of sin. Pull the pin, drop bombs like Danny Green. I write homicide like the murder machine. And welcome to Mob Talk Radio. This is breaking news. Uh, just being reported. Uh, we have been talking about this for months. Uh, about the Sal Zatola hit and everything. And, and we know that a, a lot of people were involved. It's breaking today that the son of mob associate uh, Sylvester Sally Daz Zatola was arrested for murder for hire charges for plotting to whack his father and his brother. Uh, that's what federal authorities have announced. Uh, Anthony Zatola of Larchmont, New York, was arrested with three other suspects in last year's twin shootings, one of Sal Zatola. Uh, and the other one, the hits occurred really just three months apart uh, with Sally Daz Zatola, who was executed as he sat behind the wheel of his car waiting for a cup of coffee at McDonald's. Uh, it was all over the news. Then his son Salvatore was shot, but he ended up surviving uh, the murder outside of his Bronx waterfront home. We're now knowing that his son, Anthony Zatola, is the one that hired uh, the gang members to shoot. Um, Anthony Zatola is expected to be in Brooklyn federal court this afternoon, but here we go. Uh, basically what has happened is that Anthony Zatola paid off the uh, gang members to whack his father and his brother. Uh, it's absolutely fucking stunning to me. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen from here, but I know that there are five co-conspirators uh, in the two shootings and that the superseding indictment that now has come out today has nine suspects that were involved in this. Also, we know that there was a cooperating witness who was a rat, obviously, but he told uh, investigators that the hit on Salvatore Zatola was done to lure the father out in the open. But once again, uh, reports are coming out now that Anthony Zatola was behind the hit. This is big news, uh, shocking. It, it goes against uh, a lot of things that I thought were going on with this, but I've always said for the record that I thought that this was not an outside job by another crime family. I always felt like this was some sort of internal kind of thing, and now this just proves it. So as more information sort of becomes available, we're obviously going to talk about it, but that's big news. Uh, and obviously, uh, it, it, I, I'm sort of speechless. Uh, just, it's crazy. It's crazy. It fills right in line with the Frank Cowley hit, and a lone fucking gunman and nut job in that as well. But Anthony Zatola has been arrested, nine co conspirators. Uh, just, I guess it turns out that he paid money to have uh, his brother and father whacked. And, uh, you know, I'm sure it's going to come out as to why the case may be. Could be over money, could be over a lot of things, uh, but that's the reality, and that is likely why we did not see any crime family react to it, because none of them had anything to do with it. It was an internal thing, but as this news, uh, more information comes out, we are definitely going to get to it. So there you have it. <laughs> 